Um, thank you guys for checking out the debate. We're going to uh, we're going to hop into Discord now. Discord.gg slash Jerky Tom. Keep in mind it's the Collins only. Hello, Smaggle Daggle. Uh, hi. Shit. Uh. Yo, what's up, buddy? Yo, what's up? Is that the real slime beast in the uh, next up? I think it is. By the way, I just want to say both of both of those people were fucking retards. Let's bring them how on. did the, how did Hello, get to like 100K. slime beast. I don't You're get muted, that, I think. but uh, um, let's bring him on. Hello, are you the real, the real slime beast? That I sure of? am. The one and only, the only person to ever use the name on the entire internet. So I guess you're being called a pedo or something. Yeah, um, moth is a bit of full a, disclosure. I don't, I don't know anything about that yeah. chat. So if if uh, if I'm talking to a pedo right now, I don't know. But what's I guess what's your take? <laughs> well, on that? yeah, and I have to clarify too. If I'm talking to a pedo, I don't know either. You know, no idea. There you go. But uh, here's the thing. Moth put up a video. Actually, let me go way back. Fucking Jesus Christ. Moth started having trouble with TCR. That creepy reading. Okay. Uh, Moth knew that I had worked with TCR in the past. So Moth started posting on Twitter about me, calling me transphobic, calling me all different things like that. Out of nowhere. Didn't know who Plague Moth was. So mm. I took notice of this. Why is this guy calling me this? Talked to TCR. Who the fuck is this guy? Etc. and so forth. Made a video about what he was saying and what he allegedly had done that TCR originally covered. Mm -hmm. After I made that video, suddenly... Pedophile, 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 pedophile. All that comes out of moth mouth. So, and what, know, what, um, that is the what was the impetus origin. for that? That's like, the what complete the... origin of it, is he calls anyone who disagrees with him or anyone who doesn't like him a pedophile. Okay. Did he have any, like, I don't know, circumstantial anything? Like, did okay. he bring anything up for, like, reasons? There, there's somebody who's been uh, stalking me online for, like, five years who mm -hmm. thinks that there is some, like, Da Vinci Code secret to my DeviantArt profile. They've contacted okay. multiple people in the past uh, during previous debates, previous uh, drama shit, you know, different things like that. Anyone I'm having a disagreement with, they contact them and say, look on his DeviantArt profile. You know, there's proof of this, proof of that. And they change what it is depending on who the person is. So yeah. last time they were saying, uh, I had come out about a 12-year-old girl who had been allegedly groomed by a creepypasta narrator, which I contacted you about, but you said that you wouldn't discuss it because you're... Uh, reputation was bad at the time. Um, yeah, I saw that. That was yeah. um, fuck. What's that guy's name? Creeps, Creeps McPasta. McPasta? Yeah. yeah. So when yeah, I, I saw when that. The, yeah. Yeah, when the Creeps McPasta stuff was going on. Oh, that was you. Yeah, when That's the Creeps crazy. McPasta okay. stuff was going on, and I was digging into all of that. My stalker contacted YouTubers who were talking about it and said, "Check his DeviantArt profile. All of the women on his profile look like the alleged victim. So that means that the alleged victim must be associated with him." Like, absolute like nut absolute shit. Nuts. So, right. this is the same person again who has contacted Plagued Moth when he started doing the whole thing where he's like, you know, everybody, you know, pedophile, pedophile. They said, look on his deviant art. His deviant art has pedophile material on it. So, it just changes to whatever the person wants. Uh, what is this Lollicon thing? The Lollicon thing is a 20 year old artist who drew herself. Uh, she was a tomboy uh, person, tomboy physique. Uh, so Plague yeah. Moth said that's a child in the drawing. Now, the thing is, this person uh, had, like, five drawings in my favorites. One where she mm -hmm. drew herself as a bird. Uh, one where she drew herself, like, normally. You know, different things where she had drawn herself. One of them, she was a demon and naked with nothing that you could say. You know, like, arms covering, etc. and so forth. So mm -hmm. that, to Moth, was Lollicon. A 20-year-old artist drawing herself out of five pictures. Right. Okay. And... There was another picture that was a uh, photograph, and this is from 2005, by the way. This is from uh, y so more years ago than Moth is wanting to put in the past him selling gore. Uh, tw 2005, I liked a picture of a girl standing in a field holding a sunflower, in a field of sunflowers. So out of my 500 likes, one of them was a you know, female person of female gender, Standing in a mm. sunflower field holding a sunflower. He's saying you're a pedo for liking that? Yes. Image? Out of 500 fucking likes on Twitter, he, or on DeviantArt, he Is found she like two fucking pictures that some I fit that were sent to him by a fucking stalker. 
I'm not saying that that's evidence that you're a pedo or anything, or that, or that it would be, but is this girl, was she like 10 years old or something? Is that why you're no, saying that? Like, no. what is the issue? No, the the photographer, alleged allegedly because she's posted like different ages online over the years since 2005 and this is all stuff that moth has dug into and you know different people have dug into uh, yeah. she the photographer was 13 the model was a different person in the photograph okay uh this okay. was a daily deviation which was back in the day on deviant art they had a front page center picture and it's like picked by staff this is a front page deviation featured on our site mm -hmm. that was featured on the site and i clicked like on it and I contacted the person, and I said, congratulations on the Daily Deviation, and they contacted me back and said thanks, and that was it. So it for seems that, like this guy kind of kind of smeared you. Yeah, you know? for that, this motherfucker says, uh, Slime Beast stalked a girl who was 13 for 18 years. And the reason he says I stalked them for 18 years was because I clicked like on a picture in 2005. This guy is the most dishonest motherfucker you'll ever meet. That's why he would not stop talking. He can't stop talking for a moment because the minute anything comes up that he needs to explain, he can't do it. Did he say that on stream or did he say that in a, in a tweet? Oh, he made an entire video. He made an entire video on me, uh, put, put my picture, my face. By the way, he says, I don't want my picture in other people's videos next to slander. Puts my picture in the thumbnail, stretches it horizontally so I look fatter than I really am. <laughs> and Have you considered like suing this guy or something? Oh yeah, I've considered suing this guy, but for what? Defamation? No, I mean, like, for what money? For what? Oh. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would I mean, be you for could precedent, get, you but could, then that's a lot of money to spend for fucking your honor. You know what I'm saying? I guess you just get him on a payment plan and then yeah, that'd be his nice. bloodline, I guess, right? Well, I tell you what, um, you got uh, fucking a thousand viewers watching this. If anybody's uh, lawyer hit me up, I, uh, I'm not the most rich person in the world. I can't go, you know, throwing money at everybody who calls me a name online, but, you know, we'll see. Okay. All right, well... Anyway, um, I, he also... I don't know how much you want to talk about this, if you want me to just shut the fuck up or what, but... Uh, no, go, go, okay. go, go. Go, go, speak my truth, okay. Uh, that creepy reading and me got DMCAs. Uh, now, these DMCAs were for a story that I had written. So somebody impersonated me and DMCA'd not only TCR, but DMCA'd me of my own story that I had written with a fake DMCA mm. under my name to try to close our channels down. Right. Now, this person, there was no way to know who this was. We could suspect, you know, we could think all day about who it could possibly be. You know, we could be totally sure of it in our minds. But I we assume never... they left an email or something, right? Well, the email was a fake one. It was my name, but a different email, you know, than is that my actual email. But uh, later on, like days later, Plagued Moth files a DMCA under his own name against Spindling, and in that DMCA, he accidentally leaves in the text that Spindling has used his story without permission. Okay. So, so he you, doesn't you write video, he doesn't dots, write footage, right? he writes story. Yeah. You connect the dots that you think it's him, right? Yeah, That's I definitely, I personally in my own mind believe that, because why would he put... Spindling is using my story in his video when he's trying to claim footage. Right. So I think okay. he had that left over from when he was DMCAing multiple people, saying, you know, he was me and DMCAing my story. And right. this thing, there's another thing where he says, um, and this is, you know, I'm just going to keep rambling because, you know, as long as you let me do it, I'll keep fucking doing it. But uh, there's this thing where he says, oh, I have the logs of Slime Beast talking with this 13-year-old girl on DeviantArt. I have the logs. He was on a first-name basis with her. He was contacting her about all these things. What he has is a different account with the name Christopher on it. So he's decided that everybody on the internet named Christopher is me. Right. So I went and looked up this profile. This is an old DeviantArt profile that was since deleted. I looked it up on archive.org. Guy's name is fucking Michael. The reason he had Christopher as his name was because previous to that, before changing it to Christopher, he had it as Chris Brown. I don't think he's Chris Brown, and I don't oh. think he was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he probably likes his music, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. So the guy, um, you know, he has on his profile, yeah. you know, his name, his, you know, instant messenger ID, you know, all different things like that. Michael, Michael, Michael. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, just but you're because Chris the name... Brown, right? Yeah, I, I am definitely Chris Brown, of course. Okay, damn. Except I treat women much worse, according to people what did, who are in Moscow. Yeah, I was going to say, what did Rihanna say to you, like, that made you so mad, you know? Like, you just kind of... Well, I mean, I don't want to imply anything for Moth, but she said pedophile, so... 
I would uh, just say, oh, okay, I would just say, gotcha. you know, moth. Just be careful. Don't get into any limos, essentially, with me. Okay. All right. Um. So what else? What else do you want to say? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of this. It's a amazing amount of shit. He slings basically shit nonstop. Um. That's been my major problem just this drama in general. Yeah. I mean, even. Even from TCR, like there's just there's just so much. There's exactly. so much to go through. Uh, just to show and it's how. Like, oh, sorry. It's so many deleted Twitters and shit as well. It's so many. A lot of it's archived. I know there's a Kiwi Farms thread, but um, I tried going on the Clearnet Mirror today, and I just I couldn't get on it. Um, yeah, I'm too old for all that. I have no that. idea what the and, fuck that is. But yeah. Gotcha. Well, you're good. You're not missing much. Um, yeah. but it's just difficult to to get it all together, and uh, even beyond that, I mean, I think my main contention with TCR, even as much as I don't think he's a bad dude. Um, that the the evidence for moth selling gore in present day is just not there, and I think he got really caught up on proving that point that it seems like he can't right now. Well, it, you know? it's interesting that with TCR, a lot of people do this to TCR, and you know, I'm not here to defend him. I'm not here. You know, he's somebody who has been in my corner and defended me, so I am going yeah. to defend him and be in his corner unless I find out some terrible thing about him. And people who don't like sure. that need to learn how social interactions work and how friendships and, you know, human beings relate to each other. Um, TCR, what people will do to him is he'll show up and he'll say, hi, I'm autistic. And then people will say, God, you know, I just, why is he acting so autistic? <laughs> it's like, he, you know, you, you were t it's on the label. You know, you were told it's on the tin. It's on the box. You know, TCR, yeah. you know, will be open about certain things. Like he's saying... I can't interact, I can't respond, I can't think with someone shouting. Literally, he said, you know, I cannot do that with somebody in my ear shouting. Mutes, you know, mutes yeah. the person, and everybody's like, oh, coward, muting. You know, it's like... Uh. Well, I think you know on the internet, like, that's just, you know, that's <laughs> what are you just how do? a lot of people perceive it, right? Everything's like level yeah. playing field, and but everything's like, what are you also optical. It, you know, like, would you know, make him suddenly be better at getting shouted in his ear and keeping what is in his mind? You know, like, what the fuck? Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. So, you give him the vaccine, maybe he'll be fixed. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's uh, I guess I guess you were slandered. Um, yeah, and you know, obviously, I just I just had Moth in here. I I feel like you probably don't want to talk to him. I oh, I would much, love to like, talk to him. Come to that. <laughs> You'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to talk to him. If you want, I can message him and see if he'd be down to have a conversation with you. Yeah, he's gonna um, be uh, washing his hair or something. All right. Um, do you wanna talk to Slime Beast? He said he'd like to hash it out. I guess we'll put it that way. <laughs> hash it out. Um, yeah. That, I mean, that sounds like a rough situation. Yeah. Do you mind if we bring another person in here with you, just while we wait on? Uh, him I, you know, whatever. Then, um, I'm I'm fine. I'm an open book. Uh, okay. Do you want me? To, do you want me? I to want you dragon spinning. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Spindling. Uh, hello, Spindling. Hello. Oh, What's you up, didn't buddy? tell me it was going to be Spindling. Fuck. Wait, is that I'm, bad? Or? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm a villain. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm good, man. My PC's fucking shutting down right now. Hello. Uh -oh. What do you want to... Um, I'm my phone. What do you want to talk about? Uh, Plague Moth says that I had alts. Saying that I uh, doxed him. Uh, no proof, as always. Uh, and he also says that, uh, that, like, John Swan account, that was me, but he says that, he was implying that that was where I was, like, posting the, uh, what was it, the fucking doxes, which is not true. So you're saying me, you, like, you're saying you didn't I never dox did it. All. That's cap. No, well, not in the slightest. <laughs> and, okay. and I've, like, brought this up to multiple people, and they, like, try and, try and, like, sidestep and say, well, he's been doxed before, so it's a headache, and he's dm said my video. It, ca it came back up, but still. Yeah, what was up with that? Did did YouTube mediate that? I know sometimes. Uh, well, do. I woke up uh, and saw an email, and they were like, "Oh, we checked it, and it, it doesn't violate anything that he says." So I was okay. like, "Oh, spindling W." But yeah, that's the funny thing is he got YouTube as shitty as it can be. YouTube actually emailed Spindling and said, "Hey, just a heads up, this person filed a false DMCA on you," <laughs> and gave him like the fucking yeah. <laughs> thing they wrote. It's like yeah, even YouTube was that. against that. Even YouTube. So. Right. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. Um, I don't like the man. Yeah, I can see why. Um, <laughs> well, I guess, I guess beyond that, what are your main contentions with Moth? Do you say, do, do you think he watched Daisy's Destruction? Is that one of your issues with him? Uh, well, he admitted to accidentally watching it on 4chan. 
Yeah, on the stream. So. And then he says it was a trailer, but then but he never clarified that when we brought it up. He said he never saw it. Right. And then he like kept changing his thing, so I don't know what to think. Yeah. And then he and then he goes on my video saying that I like called him a pedophile. <laughs> Yeah, like what's up with that? You, did you? Is it because you talked about the Daisy's destruction thing? Is that it? Yeah, I just laid out that he said it. I just went. He said the, and talked and talked about what Daisy's destruction was, and then I moved on. What is your main contention with him? Is it he watched the gore videos on YouTube? Is that like the kind of the yeah, starting it's his point reactions. of this? I can actually. There's a, a recent upload, um, called like Worse than Funky Town, and the censoring on it is awful. You can see what's happening. Like it's it's really bad. on 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 YouTube. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's called like um, it'll just be like worse than Funky Town, uh, something like that. It's a recent upload. Gotcha. I'm probably not gonna watch it on stream. Yeah, the, I'm uh... just saying it's like a reference to why like the videos like. Yeah, yeah. Like I think he even said on the debate with that, um, creepy. Asked, oh, do you do you watch Gothi? As he said, no. <laughs> like that's fucking stupid. Is he a, is he an idiot? What? But yes, mm -hmm. he does. I did hear that, but I don't know if you I just did misunderstood find or what the fuck, because that was, that was that confused incredibly me stupid, if not. Also, I'm sorry if I'm talking like an idiot. I'm really nervous. <laughs> He's British. No, you're good. Don't worry about it, buddy. You're all good. Exactly. Yeah, being British, I mean, I think we can excuse it. That's honestly worse yeah. than... Uh, it's worse than watching go, I'm sorry. Yeah, worse than being a fucking pedophile. Um, <laughs> but I guess, I guess the... I don't know. As I dive further into this, I feel like... I, I notice um, a lot of people in chat... Not a lot, but some people feel like I don't go hard enough on Moth. The reason why in conversations like this I don't like screaming at people is because I think the most productive results if you if you wanna if you wanna, you know, get the most information out of anyone, it's to be cordial, nice. And that doesn't mean I'm like being fake nice to Moth, it just means mm -hmm. like I try to have a sort of a middle of the road perspective when I ask someone a question because I don't want to front load them and just because yeah. then you because like if I wasn't if if I wasn't there when he him and uh, TCR had that conversation it would have ended like one minute in because one of them would have gotten frustrated and just muted the other uh, TCR probably would have muted him or Moth would have like screamed at him and then called him like retarded and then like left and said he was being anti non-binary or something so it's just like there's no real benefit to, to just screaming at someone like that. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah. how I felt about like Harley Morenstein as well. And I actually like Harley. I don't think he did anything wrong, but just in conversations like this where it's a contentious issue, like, I don't know. I don't, yeah. I, don't I feel like I don't get much out of screaming. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Moth wouldn't have talked to... By the way, I do to... have a screenshot of um, yeah. Moth deleting the um, the rooms, if you need that. It's Moth like, wouldn't um, have talked to uh, I TCR on his own anyway. He's just here for the fucking views. Yeah, that's the thing. Is he's, he's, he's a like, blocker. He you know, doesn't respond to it. things. He doesn't talk to people except when there's a lot of people watching. So, okay. So you think it was a, it was a clout meme? Oh yeah. Gotcha. I think that he's going to claim from now on. He's going to put. He's going to go on a live stream. He's going to go on a video or something, and he's going to be like, "So I was a guest on Turkey Tom's stream. Great guy, by the way. You know, we're you know very friendly guy, and you know maybe we'll do it again sometime. You know, like that type of shit." But well, when um, he was like shit talking you like a week before. Yeah. <laughs> if what you're saying is true, then I guess he got me. He owned me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, you kind of took an L, won't lie. Kind of lost. Yeah. Well, the thing the thing is, he did... Uh, I knew who he was for a while. I've talked about him with a few other content creators, because I used to just... It wasn't like a serious hatred, because I didn't even really know a lot about his content. I just saw his Twitter now and then, where he'd... You know, it was just in the same way you meme someone like Destiny or Sneeko for their relationship. Mm -hmm. I would just look at it and kind of laugh, but it wasn't a serious thing for me. But he did... Um, he brought up that I, I guess TCR said he was friends with me or something, which I don't know if I'm his friend. We're, we know each other though. Um, and then Moth showed this picture of me like saying uh, saying gamer word on Discord or whatever. <laughs> and so that was like I was like oh now I was like now it's on now now it's it's game end. But then he emailed me I guess after he got banned and he was asking if I could talk with him on stream and I was like yeah I mean why not? Um, I don't really see. So he, really see, wait, like, what he contacted you after his channel was taken down? I think it was while it was taken down. Yeah, emailed me. okay, so that was probably to direct traffic to his new channel he made. I'm just um, guessing. I'm just guessing. Possibly. Did he even possibly. advertise to the new channel? As soon as on his Twitter, channel yeah. Was banned, yeah. <laughs> oh, on, uh, I thought you were talking about on stream. No, no, he has his old channel far. back now, but I'm saying he probably oh. contacted Turkey Tom right after his channel went down. It was like probably going to be on the stream. Oh, By um, the way, I'm on the new channel now. Everybody go there. But... Also, Tom, he said that he thought you were leafy for a while. <laughs> I don't know funny. why that was. Yeah, My chin's not that weak, okay? Come on. Yeah. Come on, guys. 
I don't do that I'm much at all. I'm in the checkout, so. Um, but Jen's yeah. not that weak. Why are you going in a beard? Um, to he? hide it. <laughs> to hi yeah, hide the weak chin, dude. Well, I was at one point. I shaved it, but now we're going back. Now we're growing it back. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to add, Spinling? Moth has not responded to me. I assume he probably shot no, fucked yeah. off. Um, no, I just want to see K put the good streams. Love you, man. I'm a member, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next stream where I have to. Uh, docs, Tom. All right, so sounds good. Have a good one, buddy. In a bit, dude. You enjoy that. Slime Beast, is there anything you wanted to add? I, I guess mean, I could I can, add things I... all night, but yeah. Whatever you want to do. You can if you want. You can keep going. I mean, but you uh, the to. reason Plague Moth is going after that, you, you may have heard the name Wet Johnson thrown out there with no context <laughs> or reason. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. <laughs> so Wet Johnson uh, was an ex-mod, I guess. Of, you know, I'm a bit more detached from this from everybody else because all I know is Moth started calling me shit. Uh, Wet Johnson apparently was an ex-mod of Moth who, uh, one of the things he brought up was that people in Moth's Discord uh, would join when they were under 18 uh, and be there for like a year, two years, whatever. And when they would turn 18, like on the day of their birthday, they were you know able to get into the nudes room on his Discord and post nudes of themselves. Now, that's all well and good, you know, adults doing whatever adults want to do once you turn 18, fucking whatever. But my point in the problem some other people might have with that is that's a incredible risk for grooming if you're having underage people who yeah, on their 18th birthday <laughs> get into a room where they're waiting. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. so that's why, I think that's mostly why uh, Moth was bringing up this thing of like, and this Wet Johnson guy, I have no idea who he is. Uh, he's not even a mod, I don't know. It's like, yeah, because there's a pretty fucking damning statement, you know, pretty fucking uh, big problem there. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, there's a lot of just a lot of random shit, and it's hard to keep track of, like like we've already covered, and like he would uh, on one of his streams, he goes on there and he says, Slime Beast, who calls himself an AI artist. And I'm like, why would you even lie about that? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Like, it, he's trying to just shoehorn this thing of people not liking AI I would assume AI some artwork. people hate AI art, so that's yeah. why it was kind of attached. Yeah. So it's like, why the f... Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> I haven't called myself that. I guess that's that, kind of what... But who cares? That's kind of happened with me, where he was like, Turkey Tom, and then he just showed the screenshot, which, you know, bared no relevance. He was yeah. just like, oh, he's, he's racist or something, was his explanation. Somebody um, probably... W he was probably worried at some point that you were going to talk about him or something, because that, that was what happened with me, is he tried to get ahead of it, you know by, you know, shit-talking on Twitter and all that. Um, but it, it just is a lot of crazy shit, and this video he put out on me, I encourage everybody, like all 870 people watching right now, I want you to watch Plagued Moth's video about me, about Slime Beast. I want you to watch that, and then I want you to watch my video responding to it, because it's fucking hilarious. Like, he, he goes to uh, lolcow.farm, and he says, this yeah. thread written by Slime Beast is blah, 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 blah. And then I'm just in the video, and I'm like, so this thread written by an anonymous person is me, why? <laughs> like, right. for what reason? And there's, like, there's, no, there's yeah. no evidence or anything? Yeah, there's absolutely nothing, and first, you know, there's clues in the thread that it's not me, even. Like, you know, somebody saying, I'm a backer on Kickstarter of, you know, Mr. Creepypasta's book, and I'm mad about blah, blah, blah. It's now, like, did he go, randomly go, go after you, or was backers? it all... I'm was sorry, it all what? in retaliation? Did he did he randomly start going after you, or was it in retaliation as a result of the TCR stuff? Because it seems like it, um, his justification in his mind maybe is like, well, these people went after me and I guess took away my income, so I'm just going to fuck with them, right? Well, see, that's the thing is, you know, he he contacted me or con started talking about me on Twitter. I, in retaliation to that, looked into who he was. TCR told me, you know, oh, he does this and the other thing, and I looked at his... Uh, trailer he had made himself for a video discussing Daisy's Destruction. And in that mm. video, he has, like, clips from Daisy's Destruction, but it's, like, just the writing, like the logos or something, or title. And I'm mm. looking at this and I'm thinking, why is this stretched vertically to crop out the child porn? Because mm. the child porn is cropped out at the bottom of the screen. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. if he's working from a censored copy, with blurring, you know, with blackout, with whatever, why would he need to crop out blurred or blacked out footage? 
So, I, you know, I'm just like right. kind of bringing up these thoughts. And I'm like, well, now that I know about this guy, why is he doing this? And so that, at that point, became, you know, the big jumping off point uh, of Plague Moth doing all of the attacking and shit. So, uh -huh. you know, he may think that it's in self-defense, but it's in self-defense of a question that he could answer by saying where he got the footage back then. So, Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Anyway. Hmm. But, yeah. That's, that sucks, but, man. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I guess I, I believe you if that means anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> the thing is, you know, I don't think that Plague Moth is a pedophile. He says that everybody calls him a pedophile. It's more, you know, projection because, you know. But uh, he says that people call him a pedophile. I don't think he is a pedophile. I think that either in the past or currently, you know, whichever, he did not discern when watching gore videos. And there's maybe this, he seems like like an edgy metalhead yeah, Satanist kind right. of guy. I think it's more like he didn't. It, you know, in my personal opinion, I don't think he discerned between a gore video with an adult and a gore video with a naked child. And he just okay. you know went on his Discord and he said the most fucked up thing I've seen. You know, some of Daisy's destruction that I watched by accident. And you know, didn't you know properly think about the fact that this isn't just a gore video. <laughs> you know what I mean? This isn't just that yeah. content. This is something much worse. This is something much different. Right. But anyway. Well, that's pretty twisted. That's pretty fucking twisted, yeah. buddy. Anyway, so um, I, I bitched and whined my way onto the stream, so I guess I probably well, should give other people a chance. So You can if you want, but thanks for calling in. Um, right. Yeah. And, you know, thanks, I look buddy. forward to that video about Creeps McPasta sometime. <laughs> if it happens, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, let me add you, just so uh, if you want to message me, you can do that. Oh, neat. But, I made it, chat. Um, you made it, buddy. You're going to be talking to Mr. Beast next. Ooh. Um, but, yeah. All right, thanks for calling in. Take you over. Or right. blah, blah, blah. Have, have a good one. Bye. All right. All right. Bye-bye. That, that whole thing. I, I mean, I've known about a while, like since like March. It's it's a lot of something. Morally, I don't like gore, so I mean, obviously, my first stance is like, oh, that creepy re readings in, in the right. But then again, it's a whole like I get confused every time I fucking like. Even that's like, my that's my problem. Any any time I delve into it, it's like a hundred different things. Mm, yeah, uh, that's kind of why. If you like, if you like gore, you're either a loser, a creep, or a pedo. Oh, that's, 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 creep. that's two out of three. Jesus. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, it was at least, I guess, entertaining from a, from a standpoint. Like, you know, I was, because I was watching it when I was on my elliptical. It was, it was something, but, I mean, then again, I know you're, you're trying to just, like, get a point and, like, see, like, where this is all going to go. But, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's very just interesting, but at the same time, when there's no getting to any point, there's just, like, what is the point, then? Yeah. I don't know how, how I word that correctly or not. I mean, it just kind of didn't go much of anywhere, the conversation. It was like, I don't think yeah. we learned anything we didn't know. Exactly. I think we learned that, that creepy reading is so retarded. I think that's what we learned. That he can't argue for shit. Well, I guess he's just Blake like Mouth you. couldn't argue for shit either. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that's, why you don't, that's why you don't let retards debate. You let competent people debate. It, because retards cannot speak and they cannot think. While they're speaking. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm on Fortnite if you wanna play. That's up to you though, I don't care. Um, oh, you wanna play Fortnite? I'm soloing, bro. I'm in the top 14, I can't. Yeah, dude, use your augments, dude. You, you yeah, never use your I probably, augments. I probably should use those, but. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching you right now. Uh, and, and there's gonna be Jujutsu Kaisen, by the way. And you should get that, uh, Fortnite, uh, epic code or whatever. I'll, I'll use it. Is it good? I, will, will I, like, make money off that? Uh, I, I think you like make a percentage like of whatever people spend. I think uh, oh. you'd probably ask Nick because Nick also has one. Yeah, but... Nick does it. Can anyone get it? I I, I think so. I think you just gotta uh, apply for it. Okay. Because uh, I, I think even uh, Bo I think had one or it does. Fucking Bo. Whatever. Fuck Bo. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Also, uh, wasn't I fucking? Uh... Oh yeah. There we go. Uh, you might want to censor your chat if you're gonna keep this on members only, by the way, because uh, there were people spamming uh, a docs, I think. A plague moth, yeah. Yeah. Word. It, no. So doubt. just uh, 
thing. Because I don't know if you saw that, because I know, like, chat was fucking up earlier. I'll go through YouTube uh, editor. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm chilling. I, hey, I did uh, almost 22 miles on the lift it all while watching. That was pretty cool. Why'd you do that to yourself? That's horrible. What, what do you mean? I love working out. I mean, but the elliptical is just like, like you just, you're going to be fucking Eugenia Cooney. Bo, uh, his, well, his well, no, uh, game, dude. Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to drop muscle and weight off, is the thing. Oh, well, that's the thing. I think everyone just needs to bulk forever, never go down. But I mean, I'll probably bulk eventually, just that I'm not to the point. I just want a straight cut at the moment, yeah, and then we'll fair. get to that. I'm not about the six because, pack life. I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to get huge. I'm just trying to get massive. Right, and, and, and the thing is, is like I, I don't, I don't want to set a goal of like when I want to lose it because at the end of the day, there's still an end to me. It's just I don't want it being time based. I want it to happen at least because if I set an end goal, then I'm gonna like oh, then, then there's not. It's not gonna happen whatsoever if I put a time stamp on it. Right. So I, I just keep on working until it's done. Yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, yeah. Uh, not much else to really talk about. But I mean, it was entertaining, for the most part. Watching. I mean, that's the goal. Uh, I was, that's the goal. Yeah, I, I was really waiting for you to like just reach your breaking point, like when they started screaming after you said it. I don't really have a breaking point. I don't think I. I don't think I can be broken. Yeah. I'm just immune. Oh, and oh, and I think. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, no, that's funny. No, no, I can't. Oh, oh okay. Uh, oh, and congrats on hitting 200k. I don't know if you saw. Thanks, yeah. man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Very much. And and once again, I think uh, Wendigoon's dealing with that DMC stuff again. I think he tweeted two hours. Yeah, yeah he's he getting. Yeah. They're they're fucking him, man. They're fucking him. It's so over, Wendigoon is. So over. <laughs> yeah, it sucks because he has really entertaining videos. Uh, but I mean. I don't really think there's anything else I want to talk about, but, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, th thanks, once again. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah. Alright, next caller. The Zeppelin. Hello, everyone. What's up? It's your favorite, Glowy. Um, I was watching the Plague Moth stuff, and I had, a, like, a a bunch of questions about like the um legality about all that um i sent you a stupid dumb meme and then uh i saw someone just ask like what is the implication of accusing someone i guess of watching daisy's destruction um viewing any of that material is obviously illegal like even searching that out uh i know that you know people post it and you can accidentally stumble upon it but if you're in like a browser like firefox or no one willingly calls themselves a glowy you were here last time um then your browser saves like a cache so you kind of like unintentionally have a version of it downloaded and you can very easily get imprisoned for that i've seen that happen before i just i don't understand but he um was it Slime that was talking about how someone, uh, how he had like it, the blurred version? Uh, I don't know how you could have found that. Like, I'm just really inter like interested in how like he conducts his research on these topics. Did yeah, he give any either. insight into that? He didn't. No, but I also didn't ask. I okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really know. Uh, maybe you can send him an email. I could send him an email. I'm kind so, of like, so. I don't know if he will elaborate on it. That's what I'm a little worried about. Probably not, but Probably not. there's not much you can do. Yo, what's up, Sleepy? Um, I'm chillin', gonna... chillin'. Sorry, I just muted myself because I wanted to come in and listen. Oh, okay, cool. Um, all right, is there anything else you want to say, dog? Dog Zeppelin. Dog. Um, I do want something completely unrelated. I know I saw on Wikitube or whatever your birthday is the 16th. Uh, so, I'm making you a little American Psycho drawing, but it's Bulgarian Psycho. So look out for that. You will enjoy that. It's not even. I don't even. Okay, I guess I love Bulgarian. <laughs> Dude, I'm you're sorry. You literally said Bulgarian. you literally said you're Bulgarian on your mother's side. What do you? I mean? am, but it's like, <laughs> but it's like I'm not like. 
culture like i don't do anything bulgarian other than you don't like, have to be culturally bulgarian you can still be bulgarian i feel like it just doesn't i'm more i'm american i'm american motherfucker i know you no i'm american hell yeah but you can also Tom lives in canada i do live in yeah canada, tom's too. canadian <laughs> tom is a fellow canadian he's american canadian which is fine but yeah that that was it um this is is this email like publicly displayed where I could I reach no, out to him? I have no idea. You're gonna have to look. You have to research. I hear um if you sent him um nudes, then that usually works to contact him. Oh uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. No, How old are you, dog? No, I'm guys. 21. Okay, thank Christ. You Let's you go. can draw nudes, you know. Send them draw. Right, we're um, no. yeah. Nope. <laughs> I want to okay. bring in um. Thanks for calling in, buddy. I want to call it, bring in Sabox because I know Sabox wants to talk. Dio, hold Nick. on. Be, before we, well, I, I just Nick, want are you to gonna get on Fortnite? I'm getting on Fortnite. Okay. How Smaggle, did you what's get your second place, dude? How did you get second place? What happened? What? How come you got autism? Damn. <laughs> uh, because what happened? Your mom dropped me on the head while we are uh, having sex. You know. <laughs> Your, my mom was, was picking you up. Is my mom that strong? She can lift up a two hundred and twenty pound tard. No, no, it's it's just like me and her were just like stumbling over, and I fell down the flight of stairs. You know, it it happened. Snaggle, you're two twenty. Not two. I'm like two ten. Jesus. Snaggle's a big boy. Nick, where That's the a fuck big are person. you? I'm getting on, bro. It's been ten years. I've been in this fucking lobby, man. I want to see how much also, of a mess way, my baby made. Now yeah. come. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. <laughs> Savox, what's up, buddy? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up, buddy? Oh, um, not much. Just watching the stream. I was kind of um, looking forward to the power three became in. Like, oh, God, finally, finally, they're going to confront each other. And it didn't go well for either, did it? No. Not really. Uh, it's... Um, kind of funny for me because I got involved in this um, right at the start, and the way I got involved in it was kind of stupid when you think about it. Because um, creepy said I was horrified when when I saw what was in his Patreon or whatever, and I replied in a joking way, I was horrified when I saw Moth in his maid costume. Okay. And. Like, okay, that's it. You're, I hate you forever now. <laughs> right. That's, you guys that's, have had a beef? that's why I got pissed. Yeah. Basically, all I said was I was horrified when I saw him in his maid costume in a joking way. Right. And he was like, I cannot take that. Because his problem with me is because I make some edgy jokes on Twitter. And it, so every time he wants to say something to insult me, he's like, Oh, you're a racist, you're a transphobe, you're a homophobe. And every time he says that, his fans just don't care. <laughs> well, like I mean, why would they care it. considering the stuff he watches, right? It's just like... He, he's posted examples. He's posted... The other day, he posted screenshots of stuff I've said. And um, it got no reaction from his fans at all. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... And in response, I posted a screenshot from a sort of edgy tweet I made two years ago where he responded saying, I want to be here to get cancelled too. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, shut up, Moth. You love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you. I know you were, you messaged me personally about uh, yeah, this when, yeah. I, when I, I was started the stream. Did you get the response you wanted in terms of the DMCA stuff? Um. Yeah. And you, 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 were, you were honest with me. You said, if Moth lies, there's not much, not much I can say. I mean, there's not. Like, I can't really sue yeah. him. Like, I mean, he admitted well, yeah, it. Yeah, you wouldn't sue him up. Yeah, he admitted he's a liar. Well, and... I mean, at the very least, he admitted he did DMCA stuff. That's what he admitted. Yeah, and um, there's there's also a funny thing I want to bring up about Moth. Some of the things he insults people about. Uh, there's a there's a woman named uh, Lazy Bedhead who's made a couple of videos about him. Have you seen them? Um, no, I saw her appearance in the TCR video, though. Yeah, he's made a couple of comments about her weight. And every time he does that, I'm like, Marth, your, your wife is overweight. What are you talking about? 
Yeah. He's so it's like, I'm going to insult this girl for her weight, but I love my wife for being fat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, I assume it's just, uh, oh. just, just trying to hit with the personal insults or whatever. Right. Yeah, he'll just. There's no lows he won't go to. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, I think it is funny to make fun of someone for being fat, but I mean, if his wife's fat, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's like me making. That's like me making fun of someone's appearance and never showing my face. Sorry, I mean, that? I have made fun of people's. I have made fun of people's appearance, but. <laughs> Sorry, one sec, buddy. Tipster's oh, this weirdo that just tries to fuck everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Just had to, uh, had to get my plate to Be real, Tom. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I was definitely hoping for more of a productive conversation, but I'm also not surprised by what I did get, so I don't know. Lots of screaming and shouting and... I mean, yeah, but that's just like... What, Gay like, artist. Like, what else are you going to get? These people are never going to see eye to eye. How could they? No. They literally have different interpretations of reality. But, I mean, I, do, I support Creepy and all this. Like, Creepy's been wronged by Moth quite a lot, so. Overall, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, Creepy on the, hasn't on the finer tried details, to I think Creepy just, like, he got caught up on stuff he can't prove, and I, I think that's a mistake uh, optically, and he should not have done. I suppose. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Tom, you would know that better than anyone. Yes, I would. And that's why I, I, I'm sympathetic, but I'm also Good like, man. no one else is going to feel bad for you, buddy. I know it. <laughs> you know. That's dark. It's true. It's true. I'll um, feel bad. Yeah. Was it mentioned? Did I can't remember. Did anyone mention how Moff said it was Creepy and Slime Beast who took his channel down originally? I don't know if we talked about that, to be honest with you. Well, he was he was telling everyone it was creepy and slime beast. Um, his his wife posted on Moff's Reddit that um, she that it was them. She hid the email addresses poorly, and um, neither of them were creepy or slime beast. So gotcha. I don't know. No... Am I the only one here who has no idea who plagued Moth is? Who is I this? No, I mean, no I mean in this call, you are literally the only person. Yes. <laughs> He's a um, guy. He's a guy who looks like Rasputin who watches gore videos. His channel oh, is basically he posts videos of himself. Um, he reacts to like people dying or whatever. But he, or at least he used to do this more. He reacts to people dying on YouTube, but he censors it on YouTube. And then on Patreon, you can watch the uncensored version of him watching someone get their head caved. Ooh, in that's weird. He's right the now. critical of gore and all that weird shit. I have a question. So, like, if his Patreon one day just stopped existing, would everyone be like, "Oh my God, we got to get this it guy's did. shit back"? It did stop. It did existing. stop existing. <laughs> is that what this is about? Kind of. Yeah. That's the whole. That's the thing that started. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But are the gore oh, videos yeah. publicly available, like outside of his dis uh, his Patreon? They are. No. no Dude, if you no, can't no, make pictures on fucking Patreon without link, getting banned, I don't think you, you can, can find post, the like, gore outside videos. of his Patreon. You can. You need links to get to these videos on BitChute. I mean, you if can. It's, I mean, the thing is, like, even if it's not on BitChute, like, you can just look up like gore videos Reddit and then just find it. Like, I, I feel like you'd you have can. to be fucking retarded to put your income in gore videos on Patreon. I, I That's agree. just like a, I a really that. fucking and stupid I, idea. I, I brought that up to him, and he was like, "Yeah, well, I'm diversifying my income now." And I was like, "All right, well." Diver amazing. Diversifying how many platforms you're permanently banned on? I think. Okay. He, I think. I mean, I think he, he. I don't know. He said he's making documentaries now or something. It a shit. <laughs> Not very good. Guys, I'm something. diversifying my income. I just you fucking... I found some goaded weapons. They're goaded with the sauce. You should take some. Why are they goaded? What's goaded They're about blue. them? They're blue. They're blue. They're bloated. Damn, blue. that's like the best color. The second best, pretty much. Other than the, the, the orangey. Third best. Peach. Other than purple Other and like purple the and gold. yellow. Yeah. There's, there's the yellow, too. That's the special weapon. Then there's, there's that light blue Does color. It, I like the the, the, the whitish one, like the exotic. You know no, they saying? made the white one the worst color on purpose to showcase colored variety. Um, I feel like the white one's the best one, in my mind. Some bathrooms in this game only let you bring white guns. I like how you in just there. ignore that. Listen, BWC Army Rise Up. Can we get some BWCs in chat? BWC. Where the fuck is the BWC Army? Pull up. Pull the fuck up. Um. 
Yeah, I don't know this person. I don't know anything about them. I'm sure they make great content, but just hearing like, okay, okay. well, <laughs> I don't know. Is this is this a person that like is good or not good? I don't... He's bad. Probably He's bad. bad. And uh, not a very good content. All right, so then I don't have to fucking pad this, but like 15, like you know, I'm sure he makes pretty good content. No. I just wouldn't personally post score no, myself on Patreon. And um, yeah, I mean, I mean realistically, it is kind of shitty that they took it down, but um, re and realistically, I kind of understand whether like if you're looking at the TOS, it's pretty fucking clear that you probably can't put the <laughs> link videos on there. And then guys, at the end of the day, I just, like ever, say that, uh, I just want to say that me. we don't hate tell each other. Now. At the end of the day, it's all just. At the end of the day, we're like good friends. You know, we've been good friends for a while. It's cool that we're like able to have these conversations. <laughs> Together yeah. and... <laughs> at the end of the day, dude, the that was the gayest the shit ever. Yeah, I love the at the end of the day. That's that was a tipster is... meme. No, but the thing, like, it's just evolved. I think, like, just at the end of the day. Yeah, at the end of the day. At, at the end of the day, guys. I know we just sat here and had a screaming match, and you called me a pedo fifteen times, but I'm glad that we could have these disagreements and That's still be what friends. They said after nine eleven, instead of invading Iraq. <laughs> at the end What's of the day, the... George Bush is like at the end of the day. Listen, we're what's all the frequency? Here. Sorry, what's the frequency of his like upload schedule with these core videos? Um, I don't know. dude, he's new core just dropped in July thing right now, which is like weekly. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gormous like in July, grind the gore grind, react. ladies and gentlemen. Like, I, like I try to think of like what that would do to someone's brain, like seeing that oh, much. Well, gone. Go to his I mean, I don't, gone. this is like, I don't know if this comes off as like morbid curiosity, but it's more or less kind of just being grossed out. Does he like put up gore videos? Does he have a moral code, or is he putting up kids no. dying? Oh, well, he's, he's reacted to kids question. dying. Oh. There's a Wait. video on his channel called. He's reacted to a video called "Suffer Little Children," oh. and there's a part where he's looking at this blur. It's all blurred. He looks at this one part. And says, "That looks like a dead baby," in an alley. Oh. And then he starts laughing, and he was like, "No, I'm laughing at the music. <laughs> the music." Not yeah. the baby. <laughs> I don't know I don't how know. you can possibly be normal watching that much. I got down. He he got he got bullied at high school. Oh. You can tell. What the fuck? Also... He, was probably, he was probably gonna go in with a gun one day. I mean, I mean, like... he could have he could have been completely normal in high school. Watching that much gore is just insane. No, there was no way he was normal in high school. <laughs> Bro, this is like this is what flamenco wants you to think Mudahar is. Who the fuck's flamenco? Some lollycon. Oh. Okay. Oh, Word. It was Shota, actually. All right. Well, thanks for coming in, Savox. Is there anything else you wanted to um to talk mm -hmm. about? Um, Moth, if you're watching this, take a shower. Okay. Don't take a shower. That's gay. Uh, Ant, welcome to the stream. What's up? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's up? Uh. Well, I have multiple questions to ask you. I just want to get this out of the way of, um, like, why are there so many English people in your Discord server? So many what? English people. Oh, God, I forgot. You, you probably can't understand my accent. I want me to do, like, a different accent. Why are there so many English people? I mean, I don't know, man. It's kind of fucked up. I've been trying to weed them out, as has the, um, the World Economic Forum, but we're having a hard time working together on that one. Wait, you're English, you right? You need to unify. You need to unify. Am I English? Yeah, I'm English. Okay, what time is it by you? Um, 2 a.m. Okay, the reason why there's so many English people when Tom streams at night is because all you fucking people stay up all hours of the night eating Damn, Doritos and playing people? fucking video Jesus. games, okay? Yeah, yeah that's why, all right? It's, it's, it's a loser hour in England. <laughs> that's why they're all on the call, okay? Yes, that's real. They come to me. They flock. Excuse me, but I'll have you know that I was having an amazing time watching a misinformed stream like five minutes ago. Or, like, I don't know. Well, what you're one of the good ones. I don't know what that is, month. but... What are your questions, buddy? Uh, so, number one, what is your opinion on Shoe on Head? I'm getting mixed signals because you keep saying oh, she has some good takes, but you also keep saying she's a fucking idiot at the same time, so I'm kind of interested. I mean, I just... She's just a person. I don't think she's like a bad person. I just think like I wouldn't look to her for political takes, but she seems to have walked she away from the debate. Yeah. She seems Dude. to have walked away from the political takes in the last year and just say it, just say it how it is. You're just what do you coping. mean say it how it is? You she's only good is. when she's only good when like she is the a boyfriend who's like political shit lines up with us. Whenever she's dating yeah, somebody no, else, no, 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 no. like she's being, oh, incorrect. she's dating a socialist. Now she's fucking socialist. Oh, she's, she's dating socialist. fucking armored she's skeptic. Now right she's now. super based. I don't know. She's still socialist right now. Excuse me. 
Yeah, she is. She's like tipster in politics. She just consumes whatever's around her. Listen, I she's not a real squad brand. She's an airhead. I think that she won head is the princess of Gamergate. I think that Don Sargon has blessed her with his with in a holy matrimony. I think we should not we should not besmirch her too much. I think she did nothing wrong. She's you can't criticize Sargon on the day feminist frequency goes down. This is like his day. Did feminist frequency go down? Today. Officially it's over. What do you mean? Anita Sarkeesian. Oh, you didn't have a daily upload about fucking feminist frequency ending? I probably should, though. Are you talking about yeah. the Young Turks? No, 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 no. Anita Sarkeesian's feminist frequency uh, platform. She's shutting the site down or something after 15 years. Does anyone... Oh, I, how is that even news? Does anyone even know that that exists anymore, bro? Until Gwyneth well, I mean, we just had to explain it, so I guess not. But unless you're a big gamer gator. I right? remember I feminist know. frequency because that was the thing. She did the thing about... Well, yeah, but you're racist. True. You raise a good point. Um, all right, well, uh, well, also, wait, 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 I have one more what, thing, I have one more thing. Well, well um, no, 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 why, why'd you bring up Shiwan Head? What are your thoughts on Shiwan Head? Oh, I love Shiwan Head. I wish you'd step on my head. Shiwan Head's amazing. Okay. Do you want me to ban this Shiwan guy? Head has like... rarely good political takes. How old are you? very bad at debating. What? Uh, you come across as 16, to be honest with you. Yes, that is, like, my exact age, what the fuck? Okay, you're, you're fine. Excuse me, but that is the legal age of contenting. Yeah, I don't care. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> Tom knows that one now. I, I, for, I didn't know if you had an 18 server or a 16 it's, server, it's, so it's I was going to say you're banned. We but... ban under 18. Okay. W. W. Liability. It's, it's fucking time, bro. That's the way to go. It's, now, now, it's that actually... I'm, now that I'm over 18, I can have that policy. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm finally... <laughs> <laughs> now that Aiden Project squeaks by, we can just we, now we, we can, can finally just close the gate. Yeah, finally got the last victim in Aiden Projects. Are you like alive? How come I keep fighting everybody? I just I'm just fighting people. Right That's not okay. I just got owned. Yeah, you're fighting people. All right. Did you win? Are you winning, son? <laughs> yeah. I right, <next> <laughs> mean, just I just downed somebody like Syndrome. Hold on, I'll be right there, buddy. Hello, caller. What's up? Hello. What do you want to talk about? Let me think. Bro. You well, want me to ban, ban you right now, or like? But, um, do you watch anime, and what is your favorite anime? I don't watch anime. Anime sucks dick. It's straight up trash. Burn it to the ground. That's my thoughts. And then the other thing was, where do I send fan art and stuff? <laughs> uh, you can at me on Twitter or email me. That's it. Okay, thank you so much. All right, have a good one. Take care. Okay. Um... Jesus Christ. Anime sucks. Your entire life is a joke. You, you have no value to society. You have no value okay, to society. Also, where do I send that... fan art? <laughs> that is an outtake, Tom. That tends to be how it goes. Old, old 80s anime is based. But that's no, it. Fuck True. It all. Just get rid of it all. Burn it. Burn it. No, 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 no. Oh, Tom, where did you land? I'm like running across the map. I died. Like, yeah, I'm eight. trying to get your fucking tag, bro. I thought you were with like, me. Like hand John. Dude, I was in the snowy area. Oh. I thought you were. Holy like, shit! Team. I just ran in between two fights, and I'm like trying not you're to get good, hit. You're good. There's no way I'm good, dude. You're, I'm so I'm so jover. With the sauce. It's with the so sauce. jover, bro. You want to drink in the net? Tom, have you listened to like? Have you listened to anime openings? Uh, yeah. I mean, a few. Like, like I feel like it's up your alley. No, that's actually. I, like, I, I okay on a, on a real. I like Death Note. That's a good anime. I like the openings for that. Yeah. Oh, the well, Light Yagami crazy. is very similar to the Smash streamer Leffen. They have a lot in common. <laughs> they have a lot in common. They're both great He's, tennis. His phone is the Death Note. In fact. Um. I, all right. Who? You know, yeah. baby. That was Supreme. unfortunately a Hitler quote. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Oh, Bro, the franchise is goaded. Hey, Tom. What's up? Uh, I I got uh, one first important question, man. Um, is it okay if I call you Tom? Tom, is that okay with you or that? That's not uh, okay. Just Tom. <laughs> I won't. I won't use the Tom Tom on you. Um, I got another one. Um, so I uh watch your thick ass video on um uh Adam twenty two. So I had a I had a cool question. Oh, what are your what are your thoughts on all the this influx of all these uh, degenerate um, cucks that are kind of really taking over the uh, the whole manosphere? Because I, I feel like there are a lot of them, you know. 
Is Adam really in the manosphere? I feel like he's not. I don't, but I don't know. Like him, I feel like Sneeko's kind of up in there though, and he, he's also. Well, on also Sneeko's a count, a, he doesn't want to be seen a as a cuck though. Sneeko like hates. He hates when you call him a cuck. Like, who are these cucks? Yeah. Cucks. Yeah. People who are like, and also and Destiny, Jason, I don't know. There are cucks. What was it? 16 year olds are hotter than one here. I don't know. I mean, Adam 22, in, in the, like, as that example. Um, also has pedo allegations levied against Did him. Like, I'm just wondering real? what's going real? on. Real? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Damn. Yeah, I thought he put that out on on a what's it called? That's rough, buddy. Being a cuck is a cover up for being a pedo. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's the it's it's the cuckspiracy. It's <laughs> a, a really name. good name, dude. You should you should uh join that. Oh man, dude, I dude. miss when Bunty King was the only cuck. Okay, and then one more. Um, I just, I, you know, I really I watch a couple of your streams. Um, why, why are you so bad at Fortnite? It's kind of upsetting. No, what explanation can I give you? What explanation? Can, I'm just bad. I just Dude, this isn't saying. a joke. We've had three streams where we've ended it, and then as soon as we end it, we win the next game. I know that sounds oh, insane that's that we're like hoping and lying, but this has happened. This you're literally there. You participated. Um, that's a cope. Uh, that kind of sounds like a. I've that kind of sounds like a cope. Game. You're gay. You are gay and cringe. Okay. And I, I, that's, I like, that's, that's true. That's pretty true. That's true. That's pretty true. That's pretty it's true. true. You know, that's pretty true. That's pretty just true. a pretty hard stream and to watch because like, if I'm watching for the gameplay, there's not really not really anything in the gameplay sector. It's just kind of kind of nothing there. Why would there. you watch it's for really the gameplay? Sad. That's not. I'm not a gamer. You don't even player. have an Among Us back bling. All right. You're not even a good. But I'm not, like, I'm not a gaming. Who is watching me for the gameplay? Like. I don't know. There's probably at least like two people, and I'm one of them. And You're I'm sorry, fool. but you really, you got You really got to rethink how you play your Fortnite. You stop watching uh, the streams. Just donate me a hundred dollars every time, and then listen. I'm I'm actually really poor, so I I don't have any money to give you. I'm sorry. You just got to get rich, crypto boy. Okay. Mm. Start investing in Doge. Right. Here's going up. One thing I know is that if I uh, if I uh, played Fortnite as uh, well as you do money i'd be broke i'd be completely broke that's true. zero dollars that's true you actually have a you'd be pretty in true debt. you'd be in debt and true that's pretty true that is pretty true all right what else yeah pretty true it? uh that's about it tom tom thank you very much Fuck love you off. kill him. bro he did he did the thing tom tom is a w nickname how is it a what what is the w tom tom wasn't that the name of like the before phones had like Yes, you'd buy a Tom Tom, and it would give. You, I mean, my old. I thought that was the name of the uh, thing in Star Wars. I I think I know. No, no, that's a. There was like a. It's like a navigation thing you would so put thing, in your car. The You're hundred percent right. Hoth. Oh God, blowing my brain. You know, that's a. Um, it's a GPS. Wait on on Hoth. What the fuck are you talking oh, he about? No, he rides a Tom Tom, not a Tom Tom. A Tom Tom. Yeah, it's the fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know, I used to just put a fucking squawking animal in my car, and it would tell me when to turn left. Thank you. No, but the Tom Tom is That's a giant thing. He about. rides. He rides. Tom Tom's coming out my asshole. Do you remember that? I do remember that. <laughs> That's oh. from fucking South Park. No, is it is it South Park or Family Guy? When Mickey Mouse was there. Oh, it was Cartman. I want a, a lightsaber. So and like a worm. Yeah, they open his fucking. They open his oh, gut. Oh, I got tauntauns coming out my ass. I remember when I was what? young and I saw him open his gut. I was like, I bet that's so cozy. Dude, that's crazy. When he sat next to the gut and it like steamed. Dude, he was isn't like, that the platform where nobody streams anymore? <laughs> At all? <laughs> I think you're thinking of. Um, I think you're thinking of Tom Tom. <laughs> that's like Band.TV, only it's not Alex Jones's website. It's just reality. You're thinking of Charm Skull? On Twitch, Charmed Skull. Oh, that's the girl who wanted a Discord moderator to baby hiss it her kid that she never met. That's that was funny. That's awesome. And like cool. And she knew Sargon, dude. Did Tom, she... I'm going to save you, Tom. She knew everyone. She knew your mom. Thank you, JFG. For I don't remember. Um. All right. Uh, I want to bring the next caller. We'll play one more game. Smaggle's not here, so this is awkward. Oh shit, oh, how do you drag What the fuck is this bro? I, I got it. Yo, what's up, Gamma? Hey, what's up, Tom? What do you want to talk about, buddy? 
So I actually wanted to discuss a little bit about the whole Plague Moth, you know, uh, interview that you were doing a little bit earlier ago. Mm -hmm. So I also did a video on this guy, but uh, I'm not relevant enough to, like, you know, earn myself a plug, so I'm not going to mention it too much. But I will say a whole discussion was actually scuffed from the beginning. Plague Moth came in here basically with, like, you know, just deflecting a lot of the stuff that he was being, you know, alleged against. Um, like what, I guess, would be the question. So, a lot of the things that he started talking about in terms of, like, Daisy's destruction, like, I'm going to use that as an example, because everybody likes to use that as an example. He basically has said in multiple points in times that he did watch it, and then backtracks and says that he didn't watch it, and then he backtracks again and says that he did. Like, earlier he mentioned that he watched, like, a trailer of it, right? And as somebody else mentioned, he used uh, clips or, like, a screenshot of the video where he stretched it out. And then he just keeps going back and forth saying that he did when he didn't, or that he didn't when he did. Mm. Well, so, yeah, I mean, there's going to be a lot of contradictions, ahead. I guess, throughout the entire thing. Yeah, he for like another good uh, contradiction that he made that I wanted to like talk about is also how he says that he striked somebody for privacy, but you know, obviously, he doesn't know how that works. It looks That's like other he people did both. Or something. He did privacy and DMCA. No. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, like, the the stupid thing about that all is that if he puts his image out there, you know, publicly, which he did, um, a lot of his streams weren't exactly private, and a lot of, you know, his images I mean, are of public. Of course it's wrong. Yeah. Of course you can't do that. Yeah, it, it's it's obviously, you know, he's he's able to, you know, he's able to use his likeness, and anybody else is able to use his likeness. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, mean, uh, I mean, obviously, like, like, you can't, even beyond that, like, as far as using the DMCA system, like, if it's if you put it out there at any point, people can use it. Um, yeah, absolutely. As long as they didn't obtain that information illegally in a legal sense, they can use it. But even even if even if they posted that, um, and they obtained it illegally, that's not a copyright issue. That's a um, just a privacy issue in general. Um, so, yeah. So uh, another thing that I wanted to mention. Sorry, I'm gonna have like a little bit to discuss right now. Is that he deflects a lot of the things that are being told to him by just basically talking over somebody else. Like, the entire time he was just talking over TCR, you know, kind of insulting him, being really aggressive in the conversation. He really sucks at debating. He can't actually make a valid point without going, you know, in circles and saying proof. You know, can you provide proof? Like, circumstantial evidence is there, and I know circumstantial evidence isn't exactly the greatest thing ever. But if at some point he did, you know, post Gore and he did sell it, which he did, this is, you know, not questionable. He did do this. And if it stayed at a, up to a certain point and then if he did delete it, you know, that still shows that he, he did sell Gore. And I know some people were saying that. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing I know as people, far as TCR's point. It's like he did at one point, at least, at the very least. Yeah. We know he did at one at one point he was selling it. Um, so I feel like it doesn't yeah, really matter. That, that uh, he deflected. You know, he deflected on it by saying that it, he didn't do it up to a certain point. But that's, you know, I, not provable. It can be proven. I meant to say, like, that's not that, that's neither provable or improvable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't really prove one way or the other. Um, Another, yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Uh, people are saying in chat right now, like, why buy something you can get for free? And the thing is that people weren't buying Gore from his Patreon. He was reacting to Gore. He was making, like, videos of him discussing and reacting to the videos and, you know, in question. Uh, he put those on his Patreon on censored, and he linked people to it. That, that's the concern here, is that when he did react to it, he was kind of disrespectful in nature towards the videos, which, as some people have said, if they had watched this video and have him react to it, it would probably desensitize him, you know, these people to what a good reaction would actually be. What would be a good reaction? Hold on. Nick, are you there? Where are uh, you well, dropping? Well, by good reaction, I mean how you oh. would handle something like this. Like, how would you, you know... How would you cope with a, a situation like this? Some people are going to see this and think, okay, it's okay to, you know, find humor and negative things. But a normal well, individual, like you guys were mentioning earlier, uh, they would they would think of Gore as something that's kind of depraved, something that's kind of degenerate to actually get into thing. It's like and he, enjoy. He started, like, the whole, I think the first interaction we had was him being like, Tom said the N-word, and it's like, well, I, I don't see why that really bothers you when you are reacting to videos of people dying. Like, I just don't. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that, that's another thing is that he did in previous occasions try using that against you on Twitter. I'm not sure if he did it in video or stream or not. He I know for a fact video, he did. Yeah. yeah, he did do that. But like the thing is, what's the point of, you know, bringing up something in the past that we have obviously grown like past as like to try to defame you? House. Yeah. 
Yeah, why are you... Gl like, that's the entire thing he's been doing the entire time is he's been glass housing. He has been glass housing for the entire conversation. He says one thing and then goes back. Yeah. I don't... I feel like these things aren't equatable. Like, N-word, watching they're, a child... They're right, not equatable, right, but I'm right. Really they're not, about yeah. If you're willing to but, do... But that, that's not relevant, to, If you're to be willing fair. to criticize anyone for almost anything, you have to look at your own track record, you know? Yeah, that's... But that. But let's be fair, that's not really relevant. I don't think he ever, like, you know, talks shit in your... Like, specifically for you talking shit to him. No. I, um, Another thing that I want to mention before I end this off is that he he refuses to take accountability, and whenever somebody makes a good point, he always brings up the uh, my daughter card. He like for example, he was saying that his monetization was completely killed off in the form of his Patreon. And uh, first of all, let me mention that TCR didn't like didn't necessarily have a vendetta. I don't think he had a vendetta at all against this person. The you know Patreon thing was just issues uh, he had with Patreon. It, T TCR didn't have anything to do with that. Mm. But he, when he did mention what he I when he does CCR mention that he specifically reported the Patreon, he did report it, but not for not to try to take his monetization away. His video even in his video he mentioned that he didn't want to do that, that he regrets removing I mean, the, his monetization. The, you know? the thing is, like, I I I don't even think it's an unjust reason to report someone's Patreon for what he was supposedly doing. But you obviously are targeting someone's income if you report their Patreon in any way, because that's I mean that's the, yeah. Patreon is literally a paywall, so he was going after his income. Yeah, you're right, but like he, I'm pretty sure he regretted it. Like he said, but does he like he really like? Uh, you you watch this more than I don't know maybe the other people. Does he like really post like gore videos of kids? Uh, I actually used to watch Plague Moth back like three years ago, two years ago. I was a little bit younger then. I was like 19. Uh, he does do that actually. I have in my video. I have a couple clips. Like uh, somebody here mentioned an excerpt where he's laughing at a you know baby's you know corpse essentially. He he does do that. I had to search that out, but I, I mean, thought like, obviously to censor it. I don't know if the conversation should be up about like Patreon at that point. It's just like no, no, you're right. No, like you should play in traffic if you do yeah, that. Yeah. Is that a nice yeah. way I could say it on Twitch? Like, I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, you should you shouldn't be doing that. Period. You know, reviewing this type of stuff or even watching it can definitely change the way your brain reacts to negative things in general. Diorio, uh, what do you think of that? Like people reviewing not just kids but like people reviewing people's deaths oh he definitely did review them by the, the deaths, way uh, like, adults are weird but kids is like i mean if somebody i, I don't all right i don't want to like fucking say anything super out of pocket but i mean i guess you could assume what i'm thinking yeah i know you're i, I get what you're getting <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah i'm not gonna do that on top stream but. so i didn't know i didn't know if this is true or not but somebody mentioned it he apparently also rated some of these gore videos you can take this you know uh you can the take the Anthony like, Fantano yeah. score of dead children. <laughs> yeah, no, but, I mean, but like some people some 10, people allege that he did do that. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. And so where I was going with the daughter thing is that he always is like, you're taking away my revenue, and that gets in the way of me paying for my daughter's insulin. That's a terrible argument because if you really cared that much about, you know, paying for insulin medications. All right, well, I can't wait because you were deaf. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I was that fucking up. up. That is messed up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. God. Oh my god. No, no. You bet. That's an apology right there. That that has that deserves an apology. Okay. Right what, there. I will, yeah, what I will say is, if you if you have a family to support, it's irresponsible to make your money off. Yeah, yeah. You should you should find if that's if it's really such an issue, you should make money by other means. Like. You shouldn't just rely on purely selling content that isn't healthy for you to consume to get money for your daughter's medication. You should own up to responsibility and find monetization elsewhere. Yeah, bro, you should, dude, if you can't pay for your daughter's insulin, just get like a job. <laughs> right? That That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I was paying that the shit, entire dude. time. I, I wanted, to, I, I, so I wanted, to, be, like, yeah, I wanted to be in this discussion so bad since the beginning because he just made so much stupid shit that these guys didn't have the strength to refute. Yeah. Holy shit! I just saw how much insulin costs in the state. It's expensive. Like it is very yeah. It is expensive. It's like it's like so, like it's four k in the states. It's like seven hundred bucks in Canada. Okay, to to be fair, uh, I I understand if like if you don't have if you don't have the capacity to work, I understand trying to get monetization through this, but it, it's not the greatest thing you can do. If you really want to monetize, there are other ways to be creative and make stuff that you can you know that you can find people to support. He doesn't have the capacity to work. 
Uh, I heard a lot of uh, BS online. So, like I said, take it with a grain of salt. I heard a lot of BS online that he can't hold a job. You know, just just as a Dude, shit he's talk. a Discord admin, bro. Why can't he hold a job? Though? <laughs> he's got a job. He's, he's <laughs> R slash Gore on on Reddit. I mean, he's a I mean, personally, personally, for me, holding a job isn't hard. It's incredibly easy. But I, there are nice. some people out there that are just incredibly just incapable of working. You know, for whatever reason it may be. Fantasizing about just Gore, work. bro. Just don't get fucked. Right? Just, just, just work. work. <laughs> Guys, this is my last resort. I have to watch dead children on on Patreon. <laughs> there is no other... I like... thought I had a good grift. You had... Yeah, I, Tom certified grifter right now? Industry. Okay. All right, all right, look, I've, I'm taking a little bit too much of your time. I would love to keep talking with you guys uh, and get some more, you know, recognition on myself. But uh, I want to end it here just so I, another next caller can get, you know, a chance to like, talk you to go? you guys. I'm riding the pig. Uh, yeah, before I, the I pig. leave. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you on the pig? Cranking the hog. <laughs> Cranking the hog. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> all right. All right, for, I do want to say that the, the one of the chatters is asking for Ronald Riz, and that's where I'll end it. All right. I don't know if Ronald's on. If, if Ronald messages me, he can come on, though.